Alzheimer's disease currently affects 5.5 million people in the U.S. This makes it the sixth leading cause of death. Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Kovalars. I'm an academic geriatrician here at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. First of all, it's important to note that dementia is not part of the normal aging process. Dementia is not a specific disease, but a range of symptoms associated with cognitive impairments that impact daily function. These include activities such as managing medications and finances. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Right. And I'm glad you came with your daughter. Yes, indeed. She always brings you, right? Yes. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. Other types of dementia include vascular dementia, Lewy body, Parkinson's dementia, frontal temporal dementia, and mixed. Okay. Can you tell me what you ate for breakfast this morning? Okay, eggs. Eggs, okay, very good. Pancakes? No. Alzheimer's first presents itself with memory loss. Uh, this is later followed by uh, neurological changes, which can include changes in language, personality, driving issues, and decreased executive function. Risk factors that increase the likelihood of developing Alzheimer's disease include age, family history, and genetics. Age is the greatest known risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Mild cognitive impairment is the potential precursor to Alzheimer's and other uh, dementias. It basically uh, presents itself as memory loss. Do you remember what medications you're taking? I don't remember. Okay. That does not affect the person's ability to function. Alzheimer's disease typically progresses slowly and the symptoms are gonna vary from person to person. There are seven stages of Alzheimer's disease, ranging from stage one, where there's no impairment, to stage seven, where there's very severe decline. When I find a patient has Alzheimer's disease, it is most often diagnosed in the mild dementia stage. Uh, at that particular stage, it's pretty clear that there's memory and thinking problems that impact daily functioning. So currently there is no cure for Alzheimer's disease. There are five medications that can be utilized that slow the progression of the disease. The effectiveness of these medications will vary from person to person and may be of limited duration. So what else can be done? The disease takes a devastating toll on caregivers. It's emotional, financial, and physical. Cost here is the tremendous issue. Approximately two-thirds of caregivers are women. Having a good caregiver is extremely important. So the overall goal for the Alzheimer's patient is to improve and maintain cognitive function and quality of life. So one regarding uh, drug discovery, there are numerous drugs in the pipeline which are currently being investigated. Two, uh, biomarkers uh, will change the way we will diagnose dementia in the future. I had the opportunity to complete a fellowship at CMS and provided geriatric expertise into the national plan. I also served on the New Jersey Alzheimer's Study Commission and helped develop the state plan. As a geriatrician, I help patients and families through difficult medical decisions based on their goals and preferences. I find this extremely satisfying.